Welcome back, my kings and my queens. Hope everyone is having a great day. So whenever you hear my voice, for the most part solo as of right now, you know that there's a bonus episode. And for this bonus episode, there will not be a video. And plus, this is the last bonus episode of the year. Can you believe it, guys? It's almost over. 2021 is almost over. I can't believe this. And Pretty soon it's coming up to the one year anniversary of Fumpale Podcast, which is exciting. But um, I guess let's get right into the intermission. So as you guys know, season three is about to be over. And in season three, we we focused on sex in a relationship. So before we get into anything, I would like to thank our phenomenal guest for season three that was brave enough to come on the show and have a discussion with me about sex. Because as you guys all know, sex is a taboo topic. People don't like talking about it. It's very uncomfortable, especially talking about it on air. It's not like you're sitting on a couch at your girlfriend's house and it's just you and your girlfriend talking about sex. It's you, me, and anybody who tunes into the podcast that's going to hear what we're talking about. So thank you, ladies. And I want to individually thank them. So we have Emily that talked about Um, For her episode, it was Talk Sex and Emotions. We have Michelle that had part one and part two, Sober Grown Up Talk with Michelle. We had Maggie who gets comfortable talking about sex. We had Bernadette on sex and relationships. We had Angela, sexual expectations and relationships. We had Alex who comes back to talk all things sex. We had Holly, finding pleasure again. Panka, Talk sexual liberty and diamond, what makes a healthy sexual relationship. Again, ladies, I want to thank you for coming on the show and all their information will be on the website. Now, as you all know, guys, if you're ever interested in being a guest on the show, make sure you go to www.fumnatural.com. Fill out the be a guest form. And if you qualify, I will definitely be in contact with you so that you can appear on the show. And if you're not ready to show your face or your voice, but you do want to get your story out there, there is an option for you to still share your story and you can, you know, put all your information down and I, your host, will read your story on air. And that way you can still remain anonymous because I know some people are at a point in their life, they're not ready to show their face. They're not ready to, you know, put their voice out there, especially. So that option is available to you. And don't remember and don't forget, guys, when you're listening to the podcast, if you enjoy what you're listening to, share it, rate it, subscribe, because that's how I'm going to know to do better and to change things up for you and to also know what you want and what you like and what you don't like. So there are two big takeaways I'm hoping that you guys took from listening to season three. Number one is boundaries. Please make sure whatever sexual relationship you are in, whether it's a long-term partner, whether it's a fling, make sure you express your boundaries, what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. Because, hello, I mean, why would you be having sex and you're not even comfortable rather in the position you're in or you just don't like what's being done to you? So be honest with yourself about that and be honest with your partner. The second thing is communication. Communication is important, as we all know, in everything. I think you are going to hear that word consistently almost on every episode because it's an important part of life, regardless if it's a romantic relationship or platonic relationship. Communication is important. So communicate with your partner your likes, your dislikes, your wants, your needs when it comes to sex. Those things are always important. Talk to each other. We're adults. We shouldn't have to be drunk or liberated to have a healthy sexual conversation. You know, you should literally be able to just bring it up. Rather, you're in the car, rather, you know, you're doing chores, just have a healthy sexual conversation. Um, Because, we're all doing it. 
So it's important that the person you're having sex with knows what you're comfortable with and knows what you're not comfortable with and also vice versa. And if you make the conversation comfortable, hopefully it will open up and make the other person comfortable to talk about it. That's the only takeaway that I wanted to, that was important for me, for me to share on season three. If you guys have any comments or anything you would like to add, remember you can definitely go to the website and add any additional comments that you have so I can hear them, see them, and just be interested in to see what you guys think and from your point of view as well. So you guys know in this intermission after season three, we're going to be going into story time and I have a whole bunch of guests for you guys. So when I first started, you guys know that this is going to be the last bonus episode of the year. So our next bonus episode, it's going to be a new year. And we're also going to be celebrating the one year anniversary of Fun Palais Podcast. That is absolutely exciting. It just makes me realize how quickly time goes by because I can't believe I'm approaching one year. That's a lot for me, guys. That's like big in the podcast world. For anybody who are podcasters, podcast hosts, like that's huge to survive a year. So I have a lot of things coming up for next year that I'm planning. Um, There are things that's going to be different uh, because I have actually an abundant amount of guests that I get. Thankfully, story time is actually going to be as of right now, just to give you a little taste of what's going on. Story time is going to be a full run next year with literally no interruptions and there's going to be in addition to story time there's going to be seasons in addition to that because I'm fortunate and thankful that I have so many guests that want to appear on my show that is exciting that is very exciting but um you know we're going to be ending intermission I don't really have much else to tell you guys other than If you're enjoying the podcast, remember to like, share, and subscribe because it is important for you guys to get the word out there for everyone to share their story, to come on my show, to, you know, let the world know that you can take a negative situation in your life and turn it into a positive. Everyone has a story to share and I want to hear what your story is. So as you all know, how I always end to love yourself, voice yourself, and be yourself. Until the next episode, guys, see you next week. Have a great one.